While the vice president and her running mate, Tim Waltz, continue to have strong momentum, they still have a lot of work to do, especially when it comes to fundraising. And that's what it's all about. That's what tomorrow's event is uh, coming in. Max Darrow has the story. Vice President Kamala Harris hopes to continue her campaign's momentum heading into a fundraising stop in San Francisco on Sunday. They clearly have had a, a great two and a half, three weeks. David McEwen is a political science professor at Sonoma State University. There was a money edge uh, that Donald Trump had the first six months of the year. That money edge has been erased. The polling edge has been erased. The latest CBS News polling shows Harris is up a point nationally among likely voters. In the midst of a battleground state tour, Harris received an endorsement from the nation's oldest and largest Latino civil rights organization, which has never endorsed a presidential candidate before. Election day is 86 days away. Some upcoming key dates, the Democratic National Convention kicks off August 19th, and then on September 10th, Harris and Trump are set for their first debate. McEwen says that debate will be must-see TV. That debate, whether we have one or two, we certainly looks like we have one on September 10th. That is going to be just a, a highlight event of this uh, incre incredible uh, campaign season. He also says be on the lookout for the vice presidential debate, another key face-off. Former President Trump, meanwhile, is at his own private fundraiser in Aspen today. This is video from his rally yesterday in Montana. Tickets for that event start at $25,000 and can go as high as half a million. Hey. 